Everyone, you're welcome to solve this nice algebra problem, which is x to the power of a half minus x to the power of a third. This is equal to 4. So what is the value of x? Now let's provide a solution from here. Now, we have x to the power of a half. Subtract x to the power of 1 over 3. This is equal to 4. Now, we can let x be equal to u to the power of 6. So let's substitute u to the power of 6 here, so that we have u to the power of 6 raised to the power of a half, subtract u to the power of 6 raised to the power of a third. This is equal to 4. And we have to note that x here is a member of real numbers. Okay? So we have that u to the power of 6 raised to the power of half and u to the power of 6 to the power of a third. This is in the form of a to the power of m raised to the power of n, which we can express as a to the power of n times m. Now, applying this exponent property, then here we have u to the power of 6 multiplied by a half minus u to the power of 6 multiplied by 1 over 3. This is equal to 4. So let's simplify here. 6 divided by 2, this is 3. So we have u to the power of 3 minus here 6 divided by 3, this is 2. So u to the power of 2, this is equal to 4. Now we have u to the power of 3 minus u to the power of 2. This is equal to 4. We can express 4 as 8 minus 4. 8 minus 4 is 4. Now let's take 8 minus 4 on the left hand side so that we have u to the power of 3 minus u to the power of 2. Subtract 8 then plus 4. This is equal to 0. Now, we have here u to the power of 3 minus u to the power of 2. Subtract 8. We can express 8 as 2 to the power of 3. Then plus, we can express 4 as 2 to the power of 2. This is equal to 0. Now, we have u to the power of 3 and 2 to the power of 3 here. So, this is the same thing as u to the power of 3 minus 2 to the power of 3. Subtract u squared plus 2 to the power of 2. This is equal to 0. So this means we have u to the power of 3 here. Minus 2 to the power of 3. Now, subtract into the parentheses. We can express this as u to the power of 2. Minus 2 to the power of 2. Cross the parentheses. This is equal to 0. Now we have two parts here. The first part is the difference of two cubes expressed as a to the power of 3 minus b to the power of 3. And the second part here is the difference of two perfect squares expressed as a squared minus b squared. Now from the first part here, we have a to the power of 3 minus b to the power of 3, which we can express as a minus b. Here we have a squared plus a times b, then plus b squared. Applying this identity, then u to the power of 3 minus 2 to the power of 3. This can be expressed as u minus 2. Then here we have u squared plus 2u. Then plus 2 squared, which is 4. Let's call this equation 1. And then we have the second part here, which is the difference of two perfect squares, which is x squared minus b squared. That we can express as a plus b multiplied by a minus b. So u squared subtract 2 to the power of 2. This can be expressed as u plus 2. Then we have u minus 2. So let's call this equation 2. Now let's combine equation 1 and equation 2 so that we have u minus 2. And then we have u squared plus 2u plus 4. 
then subtract u plus 2 then we have u minus 2 this is equal to 0 now we have that u minus 2 is common here so we can factor out u minus 2 so that into the parentheses we have u squared plus 2u plus 4 then we have minus here we have u plus 2 cross the parentheses this is equal to 0 so here we have u minus 2 then we have u squared plus 2u plus 4 let's open the parentheses here we have minus u minus times plus 2 this is minus 2 cross the parentheses this is equal to 0 now this is u minus 2 here we have u squared we have 2u minus u this is plus u we have 4 minus 2 this is plus 2 this is equal to 0 so we have two parts here the first part is u minus 2 this is equal to 0 the second part here is a quadratic equation of the that is u squared plus u plus 2 this is equal to 0 from the first part here we have that u is equal to 2. The second part here is a quadratic equation of the form a u squared plus b u plus c. This is equal to 0. From this quadratic equation, we have a equal to 1, b equal to 1, and c equal to 2. So let's assess the nature of this quadratic equation here by determining the discriminant value which is b squared minus 4ac. Now let's substitute the values of a, b, and c so that we have 1 squared minus 4 times a which is 1 times c which is 2. So that now we have 1 minus 4 times 2 which is 8 and this is equal to minus 7. Minus 7 is less than 0. Now we have minus 7 is less than 0. And this indicates that we have two complex roots. We have two complex roots. And therefore, there is no real solution from this quadratic equation part. So therefore, this quadratic equation part is rejected. So this quadratic equation part is rejected. So let's focus on u equal to 2. So we have u equal to 2. Now, if you recall... If you recall, we are saying that let x be equal to u to the power of 6. Let's substitute u so that we have x is equal to 2 to the power of 6. 2 to the power of 6, this is equal to 64. So x here is equal to 64. So the next step is to verify that this value of x satisfies the equation now if you recall we end that x to the power of a half subtract x to the power of 1 over 3 this is supposed to give us a value of 4 let's substitute 64 so we have 64 this to the power of a half minus 64 this to the power of 1 over 3. This is supposed to give us a value of 4. Now, this means that 64 to the power of a half, this is the same thing as square root of 64. Subtract 64 to the power of 1 over 3. We can express 64 here as 4 to the power of 3. This to the power of 1 over 3. This is supposed to give us a value of 4. So the square root of 64, this is 8, subtract, now 4 to the power of 3 times a third. So this means here we have 4, this is supposed to give us a value of 4. 8 minus 4, this is 4, which is equal to 4. So this means that the left add side is equal to the right add side. 
and this proves that the value of x which is equal to 64 satisfies the equation so kind of follow the steps like this video and kindly subscribe like this video and subscribe see you in the next video bye bye for now